I see. Good afternoon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see we got De Palm Island up there. Well, good <laughs> afternoon, Aruba Travel Experts. It is Tuesday, and we are back for another edition of Aruba Happy Chat. I'd like to welcome everyone viewing this, whether you're viewing it live or you're reviewing it after we have posted the live. We want to welcome you from the Aruba Tro Tourism Authority. And we would like to have your opinion on what your favorite activity is, because today we're discussing all things activities on the One Happy Island. And I have my colleagues here today. I have Liliana, we have Katie Kennedy, and we have Kim Riddle. And myself, I'm Natasha Lisoy. So welcome, Bon Vini. And uh, we're going to kick it off with Liliana because she just has a wealth of information on one of her favorite uh, spots on the island for fun and activities. Yes, thank you, Natasha, and good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, you know, and, and my team knows that I, I, I really have a couple of favorites. There's so many to choose from, but one of my tops is Deep Palm Island. And before I even get started, I just want to remind everyone that we do have a lot of information on our activities on our website as well, aruba.com. Uh, but just to get started, I love talking about Deep Palm Island because I feel that the island has something for everyone. So you're working with the company Deep Palm Tours or you're booking with them. Um, many would ask, well, how do I even book the tour? Uh, you know, uh, a lot of your clients can either book through uh, you, the travel agent, the travel advisor directly, and you can earn commission on these tours. Um, and or if they if they can't uh, decide in advance, they can visit the Deep Palm uh, desk at their hotel, wherever they're staying at. So now to get started with Deep Palm Island, um, the company makes it really easy. They will pick up your clients right from the hotel and then it'll be a 10 uh, minute drive over to uh, the taxi, uh, the boat taxi area that'll take another 10 minutes to get to the island. And on this island, I mean, there is fun for everyone. All inclusive food buffet for the day, uh, drinks included, zip lining, snorkeling, snuba dive, relaxation and spa, uh, banana boat rides, air jumpers. I mean, they have it all, even a water park. So there is just so much to do on the island. One of my favorite things on the island, of course, is to just go to the spa. So at this time, I'm going to ask my team, what's your favorite thing to do on the Deep Palm Island? Because there's so much to do. For um, me, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> nope, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry, Katie. No, you, you can take it away. I'm sorry. Um, no, for me, it's it's hel the Helmet Dive Sea Track, you know, so I, I like the Sea Track. And thanks, Kim. That's a great reminder that that is the only place on uh, island to do to actually do the Sea Track tour. So that's a really good one. And I'm not as brave, but I love I love to hear that that's your favorite. Um, uh, have to do it when I'm out at DePalm Island. And, and you know, one thing that I, I want to remind people too, when you're booking anything with Japan tours, while they can book at the, at the desk, when they get to the hotel, it's not going to be any cheaper. So book it in advance. If it's something that is offered every day of the week, they can still book it and they have the flexibility of an open voucher. And so when they get to the destination, they go to the desk and book the day of the week and you still have your commission. So book it as an open day and they just get down to the island and you get commission. They have flexibility, but it's taken care of in advance. You haven't been making money for the past year. You need to be making money now. Don't leave money on the table. Love it. Sorry, I had to throw that in there. Deb, no, I no. love that. That is such a great reminder for the advisors. And sorry, Katie, go ahead with your yeah. No, oh, no, and that is a great reminder. And plus, you know, it always it also provides that extra service that you're offering to your clients as well. It's like, OK, with the pandemic, you know, we're coming in the right direction now, but things are a little bit less, um, you know, less seats here and there. So make sure that they have those reservations. But um, what I um, what I love at uh, De Palm Island is the snorkeling, because when when we've been there a couple of times with Jack, you can you know, you can get the food there and there are tons of parrotfish. But also, too, what they have underwater are these hoops um, and they have um, actually do they still have that power snoop, the, the power, the power um, our snorkel. Yeah, the power snorkel. Yes. Yes. Snuba. Snuba. So you, 
Yeah. So, so you can go through those little hoops and oh my God, he thought it was so much fun. It really, it's such a great day and the all inclusive concept. So everything is taken care of. Boom. You know, adult drinks, kids drinks, everything. Um, it really is a great, um, a great day out. Plus what I love about it is I always look at that beautiful blue water and you get that free boat ride over from the landing over to the island, which is so phenomenal. It's like, oh my God, I'm on the water. I mean, what's better than that? A nice, so you get that boat ride as an extra added attraction as well. And Love Natasha, that. what's your favorite on the island? Well, one of, I have so many favorites, but I would like to highlight when I was there back in uh, November, I was able to go up to Goshen Farms and hands-on cooking experience. I love to eat. You know, over the years, you've seen my waistline grow. So uh, I, every time I'm on island, I have to make sure there's an activity that includes food. And I went to Goshen Farms. It was a lot of fun. Not only did I make food, but I learned so much more about Aruba and learned about the growing of, of the ingredients and how difficult it is because, you know, there's less than 20 inches of rainfall per year in Aruba. So water is very precious. So we learned a little bit about that. And we learned about the sustainability aspect and how uh, the farm came about. So that was a lot of fun to learn a little bit about the history and how they're also growing and sustainability. And I will say we got to cook one of the, the national dishes Keshiyana, and we had it with um, chicken this time because they do make it vegetarian as well. For those out there that are uh, non uh, meat eaters, they do have a vegetarian version. And uh, we got to make uh, bread outdoor, right, on um, an open fire pit. So that was something I truly will treasure, enjoy, and I will do that again. Uh, and I see we have a, a Facebook user out there. Um, we can't see your name, but you have clients going to Barcelo for October. So that's great because right on Palm Beach, and the ladies will chime in and tell you that right on Palm Beach is a wealth of activities to do right there. And in fact, anyone watching, tell us what your favorite activity activity is on island. We would love to hear from you as well. This is an interactive uh, program. We want to get you, the agents, involved and share. So anybody else wants to um, give any tips for uh, the agent there that has clients headed to Barcelo in October and what they can do? Because they're going to be right in the heart of it in Palm Beach. Definitely. Well, I'd like to mention something actually, which I think is really fun, especially being up on Palm Beach where it's busy and active. And that's why our clients go up to the Palm Beach area. And there's something it's called um, Aruba Active Vacations. So Aruba Active Vacations are their little blue huts and they're right past the Ritz uh, on the north side of uh, Palm Beach. And they've got the colored flag. So you're when you're out there walking in the morning, you're like, oh, hey, what's that? And I'll tell you, if you want and you're looking for a different type of activity, you know, you can learn windsurfing. You can learn kite surfing. You can do Hobie cat sailing up on that area. Um, they also have something which is really interesting that I'd love to try. And I don't know, maybe someone's tried it out there. They can let us know. It's called blow karting. And, and it's experiencing the power of our wind. Um, and they actually have blow carding tours, which are $95 per person. You have to be 14 years and older. And uh, But the wind, you go onto the windward side of the island in a flat area, open flat, because who knows what will happen and how fast that wind will take you. But you are propelled by the wind and the sail. And I'll tell you, Jack's dying to do it. And I just think it would be so much fun. But they've got all these activities up there because sometimes people will say, well, what is there to do in Aruba? We know you have the casinos. We know you have the beach. It's like, oh, my gosh, anything in, on and under the water. So um, that's Aruba Active Vacations up right past the Ritz um, with the Blue Huts. As you're walking along the beach, you will run right into them. So that would be one of my suggestions. Oh, great. Katie, maybe you can pop that into the uh, Aruba Travel Experts group page right under this video after so that we will have a record of how they can find it. That would be wonderful. And in Definitely. fact, I will also put um, the link to Goshen Farms and uh, we'll have all the other inf pieces of information on, in there um, in the chat under that. Yeah. Great. I love it. Exactly. There, I mean, there is just so many things to do. I mean, even into the evening. You know, I love hanging out with Cuckoo Canoo. Those guys are seriously <laughs> cuckoo. You can hop on the Cuckoo Canoo. I mean, even right now, they are doing the happy hour tours. So because of curfew, 
they had to change things up, but their buses are still running. They're doing those uh, happy hour tours. They're going from one location to another location for happy hour. And it's a great fun tour uh, to be able to go out and explore different bars on island, having those drinks in a smaller size group, um, but just having a social distance because different rows are blocked off, but it's still a crazy fun time uh, in the evening to go around the destination. And when you're with Cuckoo, Kanuku, you definitely, the party is with you. So you are bringing the group with you. You're not having to worry about, oh, it's a Monday night. Is there going to be many people out? The party is with them. Uh, so it's a great opportunity to go out and check out multiple bars. So Kuku Kanuku, check them out. Lots of fun and commissionable through your tour operators. And I love that, Kim. And you know what? I'm just going to add to that and say, uh, that I booked the Cuckoo Canoe Wine On Down the Road for my parents. And I have to say, it's amazing for all ages because at first I was like, hmm, I wonder, yeah, I was a bit nervous. Are they gonna like this? Is this just too much of a party for them? And I'm gonna say that was about, uh, you know, three years ago, they're still talking about it today. Uh, my dad had a smile from ear to ear. My mother was just going with the party and it was just incredible. So just a great, fabulous tour and i think this the fun just starts immediately as soon as you see that bus you're like wow this is amazing i want to be part of the party <laughs> and uh, i was just actually just going to add and I, I think we'd be amiss if we didn't uh, also talk about really another one of my favorites and that is the off-roading tours and um it is uh, considered probably one of our number one tours on the island. You really, you know, probably shouldn't leave your holiday unless you've done the off-roading tours. And it's a fabulous day and it takes you over to all of our wonderful sites, including uh, the natural pool, uh, the Conchi experience. Um, that is just a great place uh, to be and what a wonderful experience to um to visit a lot of the sites in Aruba. So definitely uh, the off-road uh, off-roading tours is a fabulous way to go. Oh, I agree. Was so much fun. I always say it's like a roller coaster ride in the desert. It's just, <laughs> oh my gosh, so much fun. And yeah. just, just the hint though, for those of you beyond a certain age, not <laughs> saying anything in particular, <laughs> but you know, have the younger ones in the back seat because if it's the oversized Jeep, then they need to be in that back seat because you get a little turbulent back there. Yeah. After being out there all day, uh -huh. your body feels it and it is sore. <laughs> you have a trip, and I'm just saying um very painful and it's a good thing that one of the um people had salon paws with them so <laughs> you want to book a massage afterwards right you yeah. definitely need the massage afterwards yeah exactly um but yeah if you've got the younger people yeah just say yeah go ahead and take that back seat if it's the jeep that has the side benches you don't have that as much but if it's the rows of benches that back seat yeah, give it to the, yeah, fight for the seats up front. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were on, were you on the back seat when, to, when we had our whole team down there? I think you were in the back seat maybe before with Natasha. So, yeah, yeah, I think I was sitting next to Kim on that one. Yep, yeah, it was a, it was a rough ride. A lot of fun though. <laughs> a lot of fun. A lot of, yeah. It is a lot of fun. But yeah. yeah, I've taken that tour. I think in total now, I can't believe it. I believe it's been eleven times now. Oh and my gosh! Time, I just, I tell you, that's why Kim said earlier. I think that's one of your favorites, and it, it really is. It really is one of my favorites. Um, I have a hard time between Deep Palm Island and off-roading tours, and I feel that people visiting the island should actually do both. <laughs> but it is just so much fun. And what a fabulous way to see the island. Um, you know, so many wonderful places like the chapel and, you know, the natural pool. Just make sure that you have your, your clients have their bathing suits with them and, uh, and you know, and a towel. It's, it's so much fun. And, and, so 
And Ed has put in his two cents. So we love that. Thank you, Ed. Ed said, Jolly Pirates is a must do. Mm. Swing on that rope, you betcha. Oh, you so know, much fun. And, and, and certain women, they'll let, they'll let the pirates will let a certain cute little women <laughs> on their back and they'll flip with them on yes. their back. So, oh yeah, they have a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's a, a great experience. Um, but I always tell people, and you've probably heard me say it multiple times, the more you engage with Aruba, the more you go off property, the more activities you do, the more uh, locals that you speak with, the more you engage with the island, the more you fall in love with the island, and the mm. more you will repeat and continue to come back to the destination. So have your clients go off property because, again, they will fall in love more and more, and they are going to come back to you saying, can you send me back? They will literally be at the airport in the crying room. And if you don't know what that is, that is literally the airport. They call it the crying room um, because they are so upset about leaving and they already start making plans to return. Mm -hmm. And so they will be calling you saying, I'm ready to go back to Aruba. And that is what you want. That's what we want. That's what you want. You want that repeat business. We want that repeat business. Let's work together on this. And if we know what the secret sauce is, you need to know what that secret sauce is. And let's work together on this. And that's why we're telling you how you can make it happen. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks to <laughs> everyone here participating out there as well. We love sharing with you and we love sharing as you can see amongst ourselves on what our favorites are and mm -hmm. what to do. In fact, this is just only one part of the activities. Uh, we will in the future have more and we're just scratching the surface. Yeah, 70 square miles of fun. So don't let the small <laughs> size fool you. There is right. so much to do. In fact, I just learned for the first time today about the wind blowing with Katie shirt. So you see, oh my God. Learning. I love learning. <laughs> we are still <laughs> learning and still enjoying as many years as we have been serving on the board. And uh, we want to thank you. If you're just watching now, make sure you put in your favorite activity so that we can discuss that further for the future. And if you would like to come on to our stream, we would love to have you for you to share your experiences with us, whether it be food, whether it be uh, adventure or another niche market or just your love for Rupa in general. Right. Yeah, ladies, so Katie, you want to kick it off and, and close out and let it, let them know next week what's to come? And, and, and before she does, let me just say, it is so good to have Katie with us. <laughs> the past two weeks. Thank you. Yes, I had a nice two-week reprieve, so it was nice. And <laughs> it's good to be back. And I'll tell you, it's always fun talking about Aruba because there's just you know, it's just you say the word to Aruba to people and it just brings us an instant smile to their face and sunshine on a on a on a rainy day, maybe in Texas there. Um, it truly yeah. does, though. And, and when we were talking about the activities, when these people when you go back, these people remember you, too. You're like, oh, my gosh, yes, I remember you from the last Cuckoo Canuck or this. You know, you yeah. they probably remember you more than you remember that, <laughs> especially on the Cuckoo Canuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, so great. Um, so yeah, next week actually, I, I honestly I can't remember what it is. <laughs> what else? What, Ed, oh, Ed yeah. is gonna be on. That's a biggie. Ed, <laughs> perfect. 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 Yeah, exactly. Ed Malone will be with us. He's perfect. the uh, director of North America. So he will actually be with us. And um, he is actually a, a hotel guy. He's worked at multiple properties on island. He was a uh, hotel, Caribbean hotelier of the year. So he's got some great insight for us. Looking yes. Forward to us. yes. And we know everyone loves to hear about everything in Aruba, but especially those hotels, which are so important because there are so many changes, right? Yeah, and every, they're all looking great too. Oh my gosh, they're all. I always say it's keeping up with the Joneses. Well, this one did this, so I have to do this. Well, this one did this. Well, I'm going to do that. So it really it keeps everyone honest for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and, and we all know Radisson Blue just opened and everything else. Very exciting stuff. So yes, yeah, that's going to be a fun program. I wouldn't miss it. And. Uh, I, I, you know, well, actually, I, I think I am going to miss it. I won't be yeah. with you all next week. But I won't. I won't miss it. Sorry, I am going to miss it. Uh, but 
but I do uh, just want to remind everyone um, that uh, the boardwalk with the renovations is going to be, um, I'm sure Ed will highlight that as well. Uh, but it, there's just so much, so many hotels that have been updated. Uh, but the boardwalk is going to be uh, a lot of fun to uh, take a closer look at that. And uh, hopefully we can share images of some of the properties. Yep, exactly. We'll have some of those images popped up and uh, yeah, just looking forward to seeing everybody. For sure, for sure. Yes. Thank you guys. We'll see That's you. a wrap then today. We'll That's a wrap. Thank you. Thank you. It was great. A lot of fun, mm -hmm. ladies. Thank you so much. Yes, oh, it was fun. Always a pleasure. And we hope we can do this on island, right? <laughs> yes. yes. Don't steal my thunder, ladies. No, Ed, we are not. We're actually pumping you up. We are <laughs> We are just going to be the silent angels around you. Exactly. We're as <laughs> angels. That's, That's right. Great. We're pumping yeah. you up. So yeah. thank you again, everyone. Have a wonderful week. And we will be back here next Tuesday at noon. And don't worry if you don't catch the live. It will be living in the units section of the Aruba guys, Travel Experts guys. Facebook page. Guys. Oh, that's a great reminder. Guys, guys, yes. that's right. you also, that's Liliana. Guys. Guys. The name. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It'll be living here. Okay. <laughs> great. Bye, guys. Great seeing you all. Thanks great for coming. Yep. Thank you.